Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is range sum of a binary search tree. In this question, we are given the root node of a binary search tree and we are also given two integers, low and high. And the task is to return the sum of values of all nodes with a value inclusive in the range, low and high. So let's take these two examples and see how we can solve this question. So we are given the root, so root is here. This is a binary search tree, right? So the properties of a binary search tree are the left subtree, the values are always going to be less than the root node. So this part of the subtree is always going to have values less than 10 and the right subtree for the root, so root dot right is going to have values greater than 10. So remember this point which will be used to improve our search. So here in this example low is equal to 7 and high is equal to 15. So we start with the root and we implement DFS depth for search. So the values which are within the range 7 and 15 are 7, 10 and 15. So answer which is initially 0. So we add 7 plus 10 plus 15. So answer is 32. So 32 is our output for this question. So in approach 1 we are going to do DFS on all the nodes. So we have to check if all the nodes are within the range. So here the number of nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 nodes. So we have to visit all the 6 nodes to check if it is falling within this range. Now we implement the approach to where I told you that this part of the subtree, so this subtree is going to have values less than 10 and this part is going to have values greater than 10 and similarly if root is this, this part is going to have values less than 5 and this part is going to have values greater than 5 and this part is going to have values greater than 15. So we have to check the value at the root, root dot value is greater than low. So here if root dot value is 5 is greater than low is 7 this is not satisfied so there is no need to call DFS on this part of the subtree because all these values are going to be less than 5 so we can ignore this so this is for root dot left and similarly if root dot value is less than high so root dot value for example if root is here root dot value is 15 is less than high is 15 this condition is failing so we can ignore this subtree because all the values in the subtree are greater than 15. So there is no need to call DFS on this part. So this way we are using the property of the binary search tree and decreasing our search space but the time complexity is still going to be O of n. In the worst case all the nodes have to be visited if all the values satisfy the low and high range. But if it is not we can drastically ignore few subtrees and improve the number of nodes we are visiting drastically. Now let's implement this in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us this is the function name. This is the tree node class implemented and we are given the root and we are given the two node. And, and we are given the two integers low and high. Our task is to return an integer representing the sum of all the values for the nodes within the range low and high inclusive. So let's start off by creating this output variable. So first let's declare the answer variable and inside this I'll initialize it to 0 because as of now the sum is 0. This will return as the output so answer is returned. And now we call the recursive DFS function which will take the root node low and high as the input parameters. So root low and high. Now let's write this DFS function. So this function will not return anything so return type is void. So it will take the root low and high same parameters as this function. I'll copy this and paste this here. Now we have to write the exit condition for every recursive function. So if this root is a null we directly return. Else we have to calculate the value at the root is within this range. So if root dot val is greater than or equal to low and if root dot val is less than or equal to high, only then we have to add that root dot val into our answer. So answer plus is equal to root dot val. Else we have to call the DFS function on the left child of the root node so root dot left and we have to pass the two parameters low and high as it is and similarly we have to call the dfs function on the right uh, child of the root so dfs of root dot right and low and high remains the same so this is the approach one where we are not using the 
properties of the binary search tree left part of the binary search tree is always going to have values less than the root and the right part the right subtree of the binary search tree is going to have value greater than the root so let's try to run the code so this is equal to the test cases are being accepted let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted which is a little slow because we are visiting all the nodes without implementing the properties of the binary search we only have to apply dfs on root.left only if that uh, root dot value is greater than low so we specify the condition so that it can ignore few nodes so if root dot val greater than low only then we have to implement this dfs function on the root dot left and similarly on root dot right we have to apply dfs only if root dot value is less than high so if root dot val is less than high only then we have to implement the dfs call on that so for example if this is root and low is 7 right so we know all the values here are going to be less than 5 so there is no point of calling dfs here so that is the check we are making here and similarly here if root is here all these values on root dot right are going to be greater than 15 and high is equal to 15 so there is no point of calling dfs on root dot right so we can ignore this part of the tree so that is the condition i'm implementing here now let's try to run the code there's a typo now let's try to run the code the test cases are being accepted let's submit it and check if the speed is increased and now we can see the speed has been increased because we eliminated some parts of the nodes we eliminated this part and we eliminated this part for this root example so the time complexity of the second approach is also O of n where n is valid nodes we visit time complexity will remain O of n for the worst case and space complexity is also O of n because of the recursive stack the DFS will use to implement the search. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.